It's an honor 150 years in the making. Today at Arlington National Cemetery, some of the people who've helped defend freedom for all of us are finally getting a proper burial. Fox 5's Beth Parker has that story. I almost thought it was a fairy tale. Not a fairy tale. These men are real American heroes. As a little boy, my father was always telling me that this story of, you know, how one of our ancestors went down on a, you know, uh, a famous ship. That famous ship was the USS Monitor. Jamie Nicholas is the great great nephew of crew member Jacob Nicholas. Some believe this is a photo of Jacob. He was young, grew up in Buffalo. His father owned a tailor shop up there. All of the sailors on the Monitor had volunteered during the Civil War for what today we'd call hazardous duty. There was a lot of skepticism about whether this ship would even float, whether it was seaworthy whether that would be their iron coffin. The Monitor didn't just float, it saved the Union at the Battle of Hampton Roads. No more wood, this was the first battle between ironclad warships anywhere in the world. In a sense, the, the Monitor was as important as um, in, in ultimate Union victory as any single battlefield victory like Gettysburg or Vicksburg. Historian James McPherson says an emotional Abraham Lincoln paid a visit to the ship. Lincoln was uh, eternally grateful. This photo of the officers was taken the same day Lincoln was on board. But later in 1862, the monitor went down in a violent storm. One crew member rode home. What the fire of the enemy had failed to accomplish, the elements have, and the monitor is no more. Sixteen sailors were lost. More than a century later, the wreckage was located off the coast of North Carolina. While raising the turret in 2002, Navy divers recovered human remains. Jamie Nicholas gave his DNA. They actually emailed me. The DNA tests were inconclusive, but the remains of two unidentified sailors were buried at Arlington National Cemetery Friday. Very proud. I, I couldn't, you know, I got goosebumps just talking about it. David Alberg is the superintendent of the NOAA Monitor National Marine Sanctuary. That's the wreckage, which is still treated as a grave site. He says the burial at Arlington is America's promise. If you wear the uniform of the country, you have a guarantee, a promise from the nation that they'll bring you home. And uh, even if it takes 150 years. In Virginia, Beth Parker, Fox 5 News.